first off, just glad that Coach uh, Williams is, is seems to be doing well. Um, he and I spoke just a little bit there in the hallway, and, and uh, he seems to be fine, which is, is good news for everybody. Um, you know, I thought it was just a great basketball game today. Um, kids on both teams playing at a very high level, making big plays. Um, really proud of our guys. Um, North Carolina is just, they're just very good. They're uh, very talented, well coached, um, elite shooting team. And, uh, you know, we, we battled them as hard as we could. And we just ended up, you know, one possession short, which has happened to us a couple times this year. Um, and that's tough. Uh, that was a hard locker room today, uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but uh, I thought our guys really, really played well and uh, very spirited. And, uh, you know, we obviously, the game had some ebb and flows. Uh, we had chances there in the second half. We had a little lead and didn't play well enough to extend it. Then they battled back and did a good job. And our guys fought back again at the end. And, you know, these games are so hard to, games are hard to close. They're just, they're hard to finish, uh, no matter who you are. And, uh, you know, we did a good job of managing the game at the end and giving ourselves a chance. You know, obviously now in hindsight, I wish I had called timeout with whatever it was, four and a half seconds left. Um, but I didn't, and Shelton, you know, tried to go make a play, which you trust your older guards to go make plays, and that one just didn't get done. So uh, it's a tough, tough way to lose. What was your vantage point of that play? Contact That's a hard call. I, I, I don't know. You know, it's obviously he's trying to drive it in there and make a play. They're kind of backpedaling, but you know, we trust those guys on that situation. There, if they're in position to make it, they see it, they make it. They're not going to be afraid to make a call at the end if if it was a foul. I, you know, we'll just see. I mean, it was that wasn't the reason we won or lost. You know, it just was a bang bang play at the end and gave us a chance, and we didn't. Didn't get get the break, so move on. Coach, what is Scar's status, and, and how big of a loss was that, especially yeah, when you had um, um, 13 three pointers? Well, it was disappointing. I mean, not disappointing. It was just uh, difficult because uh, you know he came in in the locker room at about 18, 19 minutes to go in the half or in the, before the game, and he just came to me and said, "Coach, I don't think I can help us. Uh, my elbow is really, really painful, and I don't feel like I got any zip on my passes or sh you know shooting it or." Or any of that, and uh, you know, we obviously thought he was going to play, but you know, I, um, you know, I don't want to harp on that too much. I, I just think, you know, that takes away from the kids that played in the game on both teams, and so, you know, we it's unfortunate for us that it happened. You know, he's a good player and really good defensive player for us, but you know, we got to figure out a way to win without him, and uh, we didn't get it done. So. It's unfortunate. I feel bad for David because obviously he would have loved to have been out there in that game and in that environment. He's waited his turn to, to be in those kinds of games, but you know he says he can't do it. He can't do it. When did he suffer the injury? In the pit game. Yeah, in the pit game, he, he, uh, he actually he, he knocked uh, kid's teeth out uh, in the pit game, and guy had to get a stitch or two. And but I think it's just right on the edge of the elbow, so where it all bends, and so I think it's just. He's very irritated. He didn't do anything on Thursday. Uh, he tried to do some stuff uh, Friday and seemed, you know, we thought he was going to be okay, but then today just it flared up a little bit. And he just didn't feel like it was good enough to go. How much does it help when Clyde's knocking down shots the way he was today? And how does that kind of change the team? Yeah, obviously Clyde played great. Um, and it's important because we need scoring. And, uh, you know, He's had some games where he's done this, and he's had some games where he hasn't. But it's just good for him and his confidence to know that he can go make plays against the best teams in our league. And uh, you know, we got a lot of confidence in him, and, and uh, he played at a very high level today. Brandon, you had a situation where you've had four games, but you've lost on the last play. <laughs> no, I haven't. Um, yeah, that's it's tough. I mean, it's and it's all been kind of different things, you know. Two of the games, obviously Louisville and today, we were, you know, behind um, and made valiant efforts to get the ball. And obviously, we stole it, Louisville, with three seconds left, and here we, you know, had it coming down. Um, and then the other two games, obviously, you know, we got banked in on and made a 23-footer or whatever. So we've kind of had it both ways. It's just, it's, uh, 
you know, I feel bad for our guys a little bit. It's a hard, you know, these are hard lessons. Um, we've played well enough in several of the games to, to, you know, to win them, but we haven't. And that's on us. We've got to make one or two more plays. And it's not just the ones at the end, but, you know, we made a couple of really bad plays <coughs> earlier in the game that you just can't make. And, uh, you know, those, those are the plays that are frustrating. There are some plays that we've had some guys make that know better. And, uh, you know, you take a bad shot against North Carolina, it's going to be a basket on the other end. Like, you just can't do it. And uh, we had a, about two or three of those today where we made really bad plays that, that led to points for them. And so those are those are killers in these games. Coach, a lot of Carolina blue in the stands, but how good was the atmosphere <laughs> here tonight? Great. Uh, terrific environment. Loved our fans. They were obviously – End of the game, it was a very exciting, you know, game. I thought our guys fed off of that, and uh, you know, it was a lot of fun, you know, for most of the day. Coach, how do you move forward from a loss like this? Yeah, just you know, you just got to go with what's next. Um, you know, it's. I mean, it'll hurt today. It'll hurt tomorrow. It'll hurt next week. But you know, it, it is what it is, and it's not going to change. So, you know, we still think we have a lot to play for. I mean, this would have been a great win for us. Um, you know, it's another example, I think, that we've shown that we can play with some really good teams. Uh, we just haven't quite been able to, to close the door on a couple of these games. Uh, but obviously next week is huge. And uh, going to South Bend and playing Notre Dame on Wednesday will be difficult. Um, and our guys better be 100% focused and have their spirit and energy and, uh, or it'll be a tough trip. And, uh, you know, we understand that. And that's, that's what's that's what's challenging about these these games. You got to you got to bounce back right away. You had to go offense defense there with Eli at the end with four fouls. How, how difficult does that make it trying to get a turnover or extend the game? Well, he helps us in some ways in pressing because of his length. He's he's good that way. But uh, yeah, we couldn't use him in the way that we would where he'd be on the ball. But Javen played well today. Um, he gave us good minutes. Uh, he did he did his job. He, you know we. We ask him to do certain things, and when he does those things, uh, it really helps our team. And I thought he did them. You know, he made a couple buckets on some plays around the rim, but defensively he was good in ball screen coverage. Uh, got a couple nice rebounds. I thought he thought he played very well in his time today. With Kobe and Cam Johnson get going, how hard is it to slow down? Those well, it's hard because there's multiple guys, you know. And then there was a little stretch there where Luke May made about five or six in a row, um, and that's why North Carolina's, you know, whatever they are, five six in the country. Because they've got, you know, three or four guys that can go for 25 points, and uh, you do a great job on one or two of them. Somebody else breaks loose. It's it's they're hard to guard. Um, you know, I thought our defense was uh, reasonably good today. Not great because we gave up too many threes, but we did some good things in the game. And and but they're efficient guys. I mean, they're six for eight from the three. He's I mean, he's as pure a shooter as we have in our league. And obviously, Kobe, 6 for 11, those are just fantastic numbers. That, that's hard to overcome when guys make 12 threes between two guys. Have you had a chance to watch the replay of that last? <coughs> I saw it, yeah. And you? I saw it. It's tough play. Tough play. Tough play. Any more questions? All right. Thank you, Coach.